What's going on guys? We are at the tabletop and today we're talking about probably one of the most proven pistol weapon lights. Uh, I guess that's an oxymoron and so am I, but <laughs> one of the most ubiquitous, uh, the most time-tested and true, durable, reliable, uh, when some compromise, others don't, surefire products, the X300, the U-Boat, okay, specifically uh, the UB, but it would also apply for the A. I do believe that the B is the best, B for best, right? Okay, because of the bolt, the way that it actually attaches to the gun, um, both in polymer and steel frame or aluminum frame styles of pistols, um, bolting it on is a lot better, okay? Bs, okay? Bolting is better. Uh, remember that. Because it's going to be more durable, it's going to it's going to stick onto the gun better. Now, yes, in certain circumstances, you can clamp it down too tight on your rail and either damage your plastic gun. Um, can't do that to a 1911, uh, and you'd really have to try to do it on a Beretta because it's aluminum, you know. So I guess it's weaker than steel, but you can definitely do it to plastic or polymer, and um, or you could also, you know, change tolerances, stack tolerances, and induce a malfunction or stoppage in your gun because this is clamped onto the rail too tight. Um, either way, the B is the is where it's at. The A, while it's quick to attach on and off, uh, it's mostly set up for Glocks, which okay, you're running Glocks, whatever, cool, fine. Doesn't work that well with other pistols or standard 1913 spec pick rails. Um, the B is just better overall. Okay, so again, B is for better. That being said, uh, let's take a look at what you get and uh, how much it all costs. So pretty standard stuff. You get your box, okay, and then on the outside of the box we have, you know, denoted the, the lumens. So 1,000 lumens is what the, all of the newer ones are and, and maybe even higher uh, depending on what you get. And, of course, there's always a variation between each light to light. Some are going to be slightly dimmer, slightly brighter. Might, some might have a more focused beam. Some others may not. Um, Runtime off two CR 123As is 1.25 hours, and I assume that's, you know, constant on uh, when you're just flashing about, you know, okay, what's over there, what's over there, what's over there. I don't know exactly how that is measured, and if any of you do in the comment section below, make sure you leave it there, um, because is it like, okay, so I put it on for a second, I could do that as as many seconds as it takes to get through an hour point of 1.25 hours, or is it like if you leave it on, for 15 minutes at a time then it's doing it um leave it leave it down below i'm curious to find out uh here we go we got the light output again thousand lumens 1.25 hour runtime, and it is ipx7 waterproof to one meter for 30 minutes so that's pretty good for an electronical device as it were uh here's the skew and all that information specifications total internal reflection lens and then one two three a's um which are included which is nice so we've got some stuff over here easily found on their website uh no big deal let's uh crack open the box and see what comes with it so of course of course you get your sticker okay you got to have a sticker especially a sticker from a cool company that makes awesome stuff like surefire and uh, then you get your manual your operator's manual owner's manual instruction stuff and paraphernalia propaganda you know go buy the rest of the stuff we make which you know I have and I'm trying to continue to do so uh, they make really good stuff they are more expensive they are definitely more expensive. This light is over $200, usually closer to $300 than it is $200, uh, but it is worth it. It's very much so worth it. And uh, here's some more specs. 1100 or 11,300 candela, beam distance 213 min, uh, minutes, <laughs> meters. It's made out of aluminum, mil spec, hard anodized. It's 4 ounces, 3.6 inches in length. Uh, bezel diameter is 1.125 inches and uh, amb ambidextrous IPX7, all that stuff. And then uh, gives you some good diagrams of what you're doing. Real simple, easy stuff. You also do get your spare uh, rail slot. This is, I assume, one of the two is for uh, 1913 spec rails. And then the other one is for Glock. I assume I have the Glock one in here. 1913 and Glock uh, spec rails typically will be interchangeable at least the 1913s uh you could use on either a glock or you know obviously a standard rail um 
but I heard rumor that the Gen 5 guns are a 1913 spec rail anyway, and they got away from the proprietary Glock stuff, but regardless, because they're so common, um, most of your lights are going to come with a Glock-specific attachment uh, for the older generations of rail. So Surefire has been around for a very very long time and uh, they definitely know what they're doing when it comes down to producing either handheld lights uh weapon lights for pistols rifles shotguns sub guns uh whatever it may be crew served weapons uh surefire is the name in the game okay and that being said um most of their stuff uh, it is made in America, which is nice and something that I like to support. It even does say, as much as I hate to admit it, uh, that some of their stuff is made, some of their, you know, LEDs, it, it's hard to, it's hard to get away from that. A lot of the electronics, a lot of the LEDs are coming out of China or other places like that. That being said, Surefire, because of the, uh, United States military contracts and, and law enforcement contracts, but mostly I, th I think it's because of the military contracts, uh, you know, a lot of this stuff needs needs to be made stateside uh, per contract requirement and stuff like that. Um, they have a ton of stuff. Pretty much every single thing that they make damn near is NSN numbered and approved for, you know, usage all the way up to the, the top tier dudes. Uh, and those people are really putting their stuff through their paces. And, and I live in a communist shithole state, so I don't have any of their suppressors uh, to show you. I do have a 60 round mag of theirs that I should have grabbed for the video, but I totally forgot. And it's too inconvenient now. But I do have a little weapon light. I got a bunch of, or weapon light, handheld light. Oh, it could be a weapon light, I guess. Um, poke somebody in the eye with it. <laughs> but handhelds, I carry their handhelds. I love their handhelds. I, I have their handhelds dedicated in kit. I've got several G2Xs or um, GX2s. I think it's G2X. Surefire G2X, GX2. I don't know. G2X, I think. Um, the cheap $60, $70 ones, those are great lights. Um, they don't have a pocket clip and they're polymer bodied, but they, they run really, really well. 300, 600 lumens, different modes. Uh, solid, solid handheld lights. You can also run them off of a shotgun or a rifle. And I actually have one attached to my Western Field 550A uh, Ghost Scattergat, as it were, uh, in a 3D printed mount, and it, it's sick. Um, rifle lights, the Scout, Scout Mini, Surefire X300, U, A, or B, uh, as well as a lot of their night vision stuff. They make very, very high quality stuff, and I'm in the market actually to pick up some of their vampire offerings, both for handguns and rifle. The moral to the story is... Um, they're probably the leader of the pack when it comes to serious use, defensive use, life and liberty use, military law enforcement use um, for flashlights of any variety. Um, they're awesome. And again, made in America, or at least as made in America as it can possibly be for being an electronical flashlighting device. Um, that's just how it goes, unfortunately, in today's day and age, but they are the most American out of them all, I suppose. And, uh, you know, they're, they're a pretty big company. They supply a lot of top-tier military and law enforcement agencies with equipment. Uh, and that's because their equipment is well made, it's bomb proof, it's durable, and it's proven itself to be those things by being there and doing that. So they're definitely probably the biggest game in town, but not necessarily the only game in town. Here's a Streamlight TLR-1S. Okay, this is an older model uh, with uh, only 300 lumens, and I think the batteries are dying on it. Uh, that's riding on one of my ghost glizzies. Ooh, spooky, real spooky. Uh, P80 Armor Ally Slide, Faxon Exos Comp, Faxon Match Series Titanium Nitrided Barrel, 3D printed cover, um... 3D printed magwell, 3D printed mag catch. Awesome. Awesome. This thing is legit and it looks super sick. It's nerf for nothing. Um, but uh, anyway, back to the lights. But I figured you guys might get a kick out of this if you haven't seen it yet. I don't know when you're going to see this video, but there's either already content produced on this specific Bad Mama Jam right here or there will be in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But here we go. Streamlight TLR 1S. 
They've got a few models of this, uh, super proven, super durable, super reliable as well. Uh, a lot of law enforcement agencies use Streamlight stuff, uh, and even the military from things I've been told, and, and then, you know, obviously there's Surefire and stuff too, but primarily Surefire is a military market and Streamlight is a, a law enforcement and, and more civilian geared company. Uh, that being said, there's tons of civilians, obviously, that have Surefire products, but Streamlight, Surefire and Streamlight, in my personal professional opinion, is whatever that matters, um, are the top two and may even be tied for practicality when price is considered. So, you know, this light, this Streamlight TLR-1S, $150, bucks, 175 bucks on the high end. You probably get it for $120, $130, especially the older models with only 300 lumens. Uh, I believe they do offer a 600 and even now a 1,000 lumen uh, variety of this light. Don't quote me on it. Maybe the S is just 300 lumens because it needs more juice for the strobe. Um, I don't know, but I've never had a single issue with this light, and it's been on several guns, pistols, rifles, and shotguns. Again, further proving that Surefire is not the only game in town worth a damn. Here is a Streamlight TLR 9 Flex, one of their newer models. Uh, this one is a 1,000 lumens and supposed to give you, um, you know, a good, solid spill. Uh, for for the brightness and good candela and I also bought it primarily I should have busted the gun out but I'm lazy uh, my FN 57 because this bolted onto the bottom of my FN 57 looks sick it looks like it was made for the gun unfortunately it doesn't fit on the gun in the case so uh, I keep it off the gun but I usually keep it in the case with it because uh, I bought it specifically for that but this is an excellent light I would have no qualms fighting my way out of hell or anywhere if this was attached to my pistol and uh, now that they have the newer style switches on uh, the the newer lights from Streamlight, which is was always my biggest gripe, uh, the toggle system. While it's intuitive and ambidextrous and it works great, it's too easy to negligently discharge as far as a light is concerned, and happens frequently uh, while drawing, and that can give away your tactical secret ninja position and potentially in some situations get you killed. Uh, it sounds a little extreme and would probably never be a concern for a silly villain like myself, but at the end of the day. It is reality. Uh, on the newer, the newer styles of lights, it's uh, you know tap and hold for momentary, let go, turns off, tap for constant, and positive tactile audible uh, feedback from the switches, and they are straightforward. They don't toggle. They're not they're not going to get bumped, or at least as easily. Uh, they are modeled more like the Surefire, where you push forward, you could you know click it down, whatever. But it's a stiffer, more positive affirmative action that needs to take place uh, in order to actuate the light which means you're not going to do so when you don't want to so again surefire ain't the only game in town what is that can you guys even pick up on that weak super weak lumens oh is that is that a knock against streamlight no this is specifically the ems and it's meant to be shining in people's eyeballs uh, and that's why it is dull like that. If you don't know why you need that in a light like this, for a purpose like that, uh, you can do a little bit of research, but you, you don't want to put 1,200 lumens in somebody's eyeballs that are in shock or just got in a car wreck or whatever. Okay, so this is an EMS-specific medical-style flashlight, and it's a streamlight. I own it. I paid my money for it. I paid my money um, for all these things except for, except for the new Streamlight TLR-8 AG, which is a light laser combo, one of their newer models. Uh, it's a light and green laser. I don't know how well, the, there you go, you can kind of see it against the, the P80 right there. Green laser in the middle. Uh, let's see on the Glock, yeah, you see it a little bit, but the light's washing it out. But it, it's very visible by the human eye. The camera is not picking it up. Um, again, if there's not already content out on this light uh, or this gun or any of that stuff it will be in the future so stay tuned smash that like button share the video subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss it um, but streamlight was very very kind enough to send me out this product for test and evaluation i get to keep it i've been buying their products for years it's not going to change my mind one way or another um i, I support them i like them uh, there are, some of their parts are made overseas in China and they are assembled here so I always like to say at least they're half right and they do have some completely made in America or again on Surefire's level of mostly or as much as it can be made in America options um, on some of their higher end stuff. Uh, this is awesome. 
You know, I, I'm not a huge laser guy, but if it's attached to a light, why not? Because the light is the most important. Most bad shit happens in the dark, and you can't shoot what you can't see. But once you see that and you identify it as a threat, having that extra aiming option may come in handy. So I'm not mad at it. Um, loving this thing. And again, uh, Streamlight, solid. Would bet my life to this, and many people do. Many people have successfully. Also, this is a Colt. A4, basically a semi-automatic M16, uh, that is a Spikes Havoc on there, 37 millimeter, and uh, it's a Streamlight uh, Pro Rail Mount 2 or ProTac RL2 or something like that. Awesome light, awesome light, trust in it, believe in it, life for liberty, uh, getting it done. But that being said, for this clone build, it deserves a Surefire Scout and will be getting one. And once I, I get the Scout, the Streamlight will be put on something else. Um, but again... I, I paid for this. The only one I did not pay for uh, was the TLR8, a, TLR8 AG. Everything else I spent my hard-earned money on. There's a reason. Well, what's the reason? The reason is that Streamlight, in my opinion, uh, makes an amazing product. Whether it's a handheld, uh, a rifle light, a shotgun light, a pistol light, a headlamp, whatever, a god dang lantern, they make excellent equipment. They really truly do. And you know what? They are very affordably priced for what you're getting. Uh, the, again, this is damn near this light and this light are damn near half as much as this light. These two lights are both a thousand bucks. Um, mostly made in America, if not completely made in America, kind of, sort of, halfway made in America, or made in America with some overseas produced parts, and again, this might be the same thing depending on what SKU or what, you know, specific piece of kit you got, um, you know, handhelds, whatever, um, you're almost two for one with the Streamlight, that being said, we're talking about price, uh, quality, I believe Streamlight is damn near neck and neck with Surefire. That being said, Surefire is better. They are more proven. They are more durable. And in certain circumstances, uh, they are set up better for serious game time use uh, in any type of austere environment. Um, Surefire, if you have the money, is, is the way to go. Uh, are you compromising with a streamlight, though? Absolutely not. That being said, in the one in the million shot, uh, at the end of the day, if it really truly comes down to it, this, I would have to say, is more time-tested and battle-proven, the, the Surefire products. Uh, plus, again, if I can support complete and total, or at least as much of it as I can of it being made in America, I am all for. Again, you are still helping pay the bills for people working for Streamlight stateside. They are assembling them stateside. They're getting some of their components from overseas, not even necessarily all of them, and again, on some of their options, they're completely made here. So, what is the point? And this is a Surefire video, and I've showed you guys, you know, more Streamlights than I have Surefires. I've got probably, I've got a little bit, a few less Surefires than I do Streamlights, and again, it's because of the price. The Streamlights are more affordable, and for the money you are saving, you are really not sacrificing performance. Streamlight is extremely competitive with Surefire, but again, at the end of the day, on paper, um, from past previous experience, and not that anything is wrong with the Streamlight lights, or that anything has, has been bad with the Streamlight lights, more so than a Surefire or anything else, except for Olight. Olight is absolutely garbage. If you have Olight products, throw them away. They could potentially harm you, and they're definitely not reliable enough to bet your life on, or the life of your loved ones. Surefire or Streamlight, stick to it. End of story. End all, be all, flashlighting stuff. Mod light, okay, you're pretentious. Cloud defense, you're a hipster, I get it. Um, surefire, streamlight. Okay, people, it's simple stuff. Either way, I'm rambling at this point, and you guys get the picture, or maybe you don't, and you've clicked off long ago. But what I'm saying is what I'm making this video for is, yes, in my honest opinion, at the end of the day, surefire is probably worth the extra expense. Um... There, there's tests and stuff on the YouTubes that you guys can look up and see and uh, for yourself and make your own distinctions. That being said, um, I wouldn't have these products if I did not trust them with my life 
or the life of the people that I care about, the people that I love, uh, and including this, you know, this country, my neighborhood, but whatever it is, uh, sheepdog, just no life and liberty. Um, if I had to walk out the door with Streamlight products, I have zero issue with that. I would be happy to do so because I know that I have something good. Same thing with Surefire, maybe just a tiny bit better. In the grand scheme of things, does it make a difference? And if you can save the money from buying one X300 and get two pistol lights and maybe one goes on your pistol, but then one goes on a, an AR pistol or a shotgun or something else, you get more use out of it, more versatility, more bang for your buck, pun intended. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Battle it out in the comment section below. But if you guys have made it this far, I very much so appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video because I'm constantly uploading content. Also, feel free to check back on all my previous videos because there's a ton of them. And there's content on all this stuff. Again, if not, it will be in the future. I appreciate all your love and support, guys. Uh, the biggest thing is, is interacting. Comment down below, like the video, share the video. All that stuff makes a hell of a difference, and it really does help drive away that anti-gun YouTube algorithm. Uh, but again, I keep saying again, and I'll say it again, again. I guess. Check the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally protected and reaffirmed, but inherent by birth gun rights, okay? Now, these are just mere handguns and uh, not necessarily known to win wars, but depending on what's going on, people, uh, might come in handy? I don't know. Um, without the Second Amendment, we have no other rights, so make sure you're doing your best to protect that right which protects us. If you like what I do here and you want to help support the channel, check any of the links pinned in the description box below or in the comments section below. All that stuff, the, the commissions that I make, goes directly back into funding the channel to be able to do more and better content for you guys. Either way, at the end of the day, I'll quit talking your ears off. I love you guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.